Boom! Hi. How are you, beautiful? How are you doing today? Oh my god. Hello? Yo, spooky season is over. What was that? I don't want to live alone anymore. It's too scary. Anyways, how are you doing though? I am in such a good mood today. A lot of cool things happening. And I have new Exmodo products coming out November 22nd. Two new products. They are both perfect for winter. Check out my Instagram and check out xmodohair.com for updates on that. It's something I'm really proud about. But anyways, you're here for some hairdresser reacts. And today, we're watching some people get amazing lace front wigs. I sit down on my couch a lot of times and I'll put on my Apple TV and I'll watch people just do lace fronts for hours. I don't know why. There's just something about the damn lace fronts that just gets me. It understands me. The lace front speaks to me. So we're gonna watch some people get really amazing lace fronts today. I have a few people I wanna show you and they're all getting really amazing, fabulous colors that are just like out there. They are gonna lay them tight and right and those baby hairs will be snatched. That lace front will not be showing. These things will be laid so flat, you will not be able to know if it's their hair growing out of their scalp or it's a lace front wig. We may never know, but today we're gonna find out. But yeah, really exciting videos to watch. Let's watch some girls do some slayage with some beautiful lace front wigs. Let's do it. <laughs> Our first video is by Miss Rosh Posh. It's called Let's Make a Wig, Electric Blue. It's gonna be really pretty. I did see the thumbnail and I'm kind of like, I wanna see how you did that. And we're gonna see how she did that. I'm gonna be using the Adore Semi-Permanent hair dye and this is in the shade uh, Indigo Blue. Ooh, I'm also using Indigo the Brilliant, uh Semi-Permanent dye in the shade Sky Blue. So first you're gonna need a mixing bowl and I'm gonna put the Sky Blue into my mixing bowl. This is the Indigo Blue shade and it actually turned my wig like a shade of blue that I didn't like. Some parts were black and some I'm parts so were blue. I don't know what happened. So that's why I decided to mix the colors really today. Funny. Now I'm gonna do the watercolor method. It's really easy. Ugh, I love really this. Simple. So I love watching this. For all three bundles. So I mix the dyes together and then I go ahead and I pour it into this container, this bucket right here. Go Dip the hair. My bundles. Dip it. Make sure you're wearing your gloves yes. because your fingers will get stained. My fingers got really stained. If you've never seen this before, well then um, you don't watch enough of my videos. This whole dip dyeing thing is just the most coolest mind blowing thing ever. It's so simple. So many people do it. You mix the boiling hot water with hair color, more liquidy um, hair color. And then you dip the extensions or the wig in it and it just magically dyes it that color. Very simple concept, yet nobody told me this growing up. I was over here coloring every strand with these things, with hands. I didn't know you didn't have to use these things. Like I don't want to use these anymore. You know what I mean? Hello? I'm just kidding, I love you. Like I want my hands in. I love you. Oh, that is the prettiest shade of blue I've ever seen. In like a minute, like oh. blue real fast. And I'm just gonna add yes. some more of that indigo blue and just add the hair back into that bucket because I just wanna make sure that all mm -hmm. the pieces turn blue because sometimes um, you can have some lighter pieces or some parts of the hair that's still blonde oh, and I just that wanna is make sure so everything pretty. is blue. I did the other Whoa. bundles off camera because it's pretty much the same method and I actually washed the hair with some shampoo and conditioner off camera as well. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the frontal. So I applied I love some a good frontal gel. That's why my frontal looks like that. So I applied it onto the lace to protect the lace. Let me call myself out before you call me out in the comments, you little trolls out there. Love you! Hate you at the same time. I don't consider myself a wig expert. I think that I'm good at wigs. I have wig experience. I see some of these wigs that on these celebrities and I'm just like, Whoa, that's a wig expert, whoever did that. Like, mm, I'm not there yet. I don't practice enough to get there right now, but a lot of them are wig experts. And I just wanted to say that because I am going to give my two cents on everything that's happening. Doesn't mean I'm totally like, you know, know everything. I don't ever think that I know everything. Let me just put that out there. I don't ever think that I know everything. And I'm a hairdresser who likes to keep learning. And I just share the knowledge that I have. So calm the f down. <laughs> Some of you people who think that I just think that I know everything because it's just not true. And I don't think anybody really knows everything and we can all learn. So let's just keep an open mind when I give my critiques. It is just a critique or it is just me sharing my knowledge or sharing how I personally feel about a subject. However, I'm not an expert on everything. I was going to say though, I usually see people do Vaseline on the lace fronts, um, the frontals in order to get the lace not to be colored. But this girl's using got to be glued, which makes a lot more sense to me because I feel like would protect the lace more than Vaseline and it's easier to get off because it's water soluble. 
Also, Vaseline's gross. However, I chose not to do that method only because um, oh. when you do that method, you will end up dyeing the knots on the frontal. Yeah. And because this is a darker shade that we're doing today, I didn't want my knots to be dark blue. Like, I didn't want them to look so obvious so the hair, the wig hairline would look fake. So I figured I'm going to dye this the old-fashioned way, which is <gasps> by hand and not the watercolor method. All right, we got it. I'm going to fast forward. She dyes the frontal. Let's get to the good part here. Now, if this frontal was not a pre So she is going in there and plucking, obviously. You can see it. So I'm doing behind the hairline with a pre pluck frontal. It's just a lot of work to pluck a wig. If you followed me for a while, you probably know. I can be lazy sometimes. And that story was going nowhere. I just wanted to let you know. I don't want to pluck a wig. I will and I have, but I don't want to. I don't know why you need to know that, but it felt right. Um, even though the frontal is a pre plucked one, I still have to do some tweezing because it won't look very natural when I put it on my head. Already though, guys. Get an idea of how it's gonna look on my head. This so color. I go back and tweeze it later on. So now we're this gonna everything move on to is something that ooh, I just iconic. tried for the first time. Um, I well, do have some cool. stains on my frontal and I didn't like the stains, so I went in with the Sally Hansen airbrush legs, and I'm using the shade. I think this is glow tan, which was just a tad bit darker than me, just a tad bit, but it wasn't that bad. Anyways, I used this to change the color on the frontal because I wanted the frontal to have a more natural skin-like wow. look. Wow, the artist they right are. here. So when I do apply them on my head, um, you can see a little bit of white. Here's the thing with wigs. It's like, holy, I love them. It's just like, why does it have to be so tedious? But the outcome is so nice. Why does everything good in life have to have such a downside to it? That was so negative. So she is sewing the these nice tracks on the head now. This video because this part is very, very repetitive and I'm doing the same thing over and over. We are making progress. She is getting closer and closer and closer to finishing this wig. Okay, I have actually never made my own wig from scratch. I really want to do it. I think I'm gonna make a video about it and just whatever. If you care about it, then watch it. If you don't, obviously don't. But like, I think I want to do it just for my own sake uh, of doing it. But I want to follow a really complicated tutorial on how to make a wig and see how good I can do at it. I know I can do it. I'm, I'm a very confident person. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the T-pins and then I'm gonna cut off that excess cap that's on the wig because we don't need that excess wig cap anymore at all because if you put the wig on, you're gonna see that black cap. So that black cap thingy right there gets to go. So we don't need that anymore. Now, I didn't use an elastic band with this wig, which I usually use elastic It's looking band so it gorgeous. But honestly, the fit was actually perfect. All I know is that I cannot wait to see this on her head. All those in favor say aye. That's right. Before we do all of that, we're gonna go ahead and tweeze some more. She's plucking I again. To you guys, I usually like to go back. You're plucking again. After the wig is completed just to make sure that the hairline looks She's gonna have no edges same. after this. <laughs> this yeah, goes so I'm there. really happy with the way play. it looks. And the hair product that I use is the Chi Hair Serum. So I don't really use a lot of products in my wigs, but this is what I mainly use. And I'm gonna go in with my flat iron. So this brand is from Ion. I'm not sure what style flat iron it is. I got it a while ago, but it's really good. It straightens the hair out really nice. Oh, and later, honey. Later. Straighten hair, so. We're just gonna speak this they do out. now <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to cut that excess lace off because we don't need that part anymore i've been learning a lot about cutting lace lately a lot i've been seeing a lot of people use like razors to cut the lace and kind of make it jagged which i think is really interesting like before i kind of thought that i was supposed to cut the lace straight and then i realized like no we're supposed to cut it kind of jagged to make it appear less like lace i'm sorry i just got distracted but i'm not logged into my account right now can we look at her suggested feed i'm so sorry you have to be stalked by me everywhere you go and so let's just see the finished outcome I, i'm excited to see what this look this, is to like to be honest with you i have a difficult time with this part especially on camera because i'm literally looking at the viewfinder i have a tiny little mirror beside me and i like to be in a big mirror when i do this because i don't like to screw it up so as you can see i just cut around the ear part so i make sure that the lace frontal it already looks so ear, good and she hasn't even laid it yet like oh kind of, mm -hmm. i see you mm -hmm. as i do you see, I'm going i really do i see you kind of jaggedy like i'm not trying to make I'm not cutting it straight because when it 
cut straight it looks too blunt and it looks too straight so i kind of like to do it a little bit jaggedy if that makes sense i'm not gonna lie i'm nervous when i'm doing this part especially yeah, on honestly, camera because i'm just like oh my gosh you're making me kind of nervous using. i wish you guys could see it don't pluck those and beautiful eyes i don't want to screw up my lace at all or else Stab. i would have been screwed Stab. but yeah this is the ah! Looks like once the Sorry, she hasn't even finished up. yet. I should call And I need as to for gluing down the wig, down. I use the bold hold lace glue. I didn't do a full on method of how I glue my wigs down because I already have videos like that on my channel. I have like at least three or four videos on how I apply my wigs. Nothing's changed. And I'm going to go ahead and create a center part for you guys because a lot of you oh, have a bitch. To do oh. a center part. Now, this Sorry, wig neighbors. is pretty much worked oh. in a center part, a oh. side part. Pretty much anything. What the so this is what it looks like once the wig is applied. I'm gonna go in with what a little bit of my foundation powder in the shade NC45 from Mac, and I'm just going to apply that on the part. And Are you kidding? To a more natural look. No. And then I'm gonna go in like with this some hair mousse no, because I want this okay. wig to no. be like that flat, honey. So the hair mousse no. that I use, it's called So Gorgeous. I got it at Sally's. I freaking love it. Now this next step is completely optional. You can do baby hairs. You cannot do baby hairs. You can do oh, baby hairs. Oh my that are not, like, so gosh. Extra, like, the ones I'm about to do. I dislike baby hairs, but I also feel like they just like give away the fact that you're wearing a wig. But I guess like obviously wearing a wig, like who hears thinking this is her real hair. I'm really not that good at baby hair, you guys. And I can't even explain what the hell I'm It looks- well. So just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> So I'm taking out the little size and just cutting it and then doing the little swoop. Mm -mm. Video, no, 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 rude, inconsiderate and rude, mean. You know what, you should never look that good. I'm pissed, uh-uh. So our next video is by Easy Breezy. Um, It's called Lime Green Lace Front uh, Tutorial. We all remember when Kim K, Lime Green Car with the lime green hair and then the lime green hair blew up. We are doing a lime green today, I'm so excited. Step one is cut the excess lace off. And of course, I'm not cutting anything specific to her hairline shape just yet. I'm just cutting the rest of the lace off. Really jumping into things here. It is like lime made green. It is woo. Punch me in the face, lime green. And that is just how I like my lime green hair. Can you take your lime green any other way? Like, except for like punch me in the face, lime green. Like, no. And I'm excited to see this laid flat and actually styled on this girl. You know it's gonna get good. I might have to like run out of the building again. This particular client does not like the glue anywhere near her hair. And she also likes me to cover some of her forehead. So this is why I'm putting it this far down. But trust me, it's gonna look perfectly natural when we're done. Wow. Step See, four, okay. Just, it's art. It and really is. You can create a new hairline. Like a spatula, so it works out. You can do whatever you need to do. Create a new hairline. Give them the hair of their dreams. Wigs are just really cool. And I'm so happy it kind of got into the mainstream culture. You know, a few years ago, it really popped the F off for everybody to wear it wigs. We are gluing down the lace front, ladies and gentlemen. We are gluing it down. It's looking whack, but I'm sure it'll look good. But it's looking a little crazy. Firmly press the lace. And we're gonna use this with our full hand. Do a nice firm press so we can make sure the glue melts in with the lace. Comb that back, make sure all the hair is on my way so I can see. This is the exact shape that you drew with the glue, so you should already know what you're cutting and what it should look like. This background music. I'm gonna mute the rest of this. This music was a lot for me. But okay, so we are erasing the line. We're getting to the steps that I love the most, which is the styling and the finishing of the gluing down. And just to see that hairline fully in there, it's cool. I'm ready to see the look. So we are pinning her up. Oh, so she is sewing the wig down to her scalp. That is scary for me. What if you just freak out one night? You're like, I want this on my fucking head. That would definitely happen to me. Like I'm like wasted and I'm just like, get this off my head. And you're just like ripping it off and like your, your whole scalp comes off with it. And you just like throw your scalp out the door. That probably doesn't happen to anybody. I notice with styling it wigs, people love mousse. Something that I have never really considered a good option in my life for styling purposes. However, after watching people style so much with mousse, I actually have used mousse so much for a lot of styling, uh, especially just straightening hair. Even mousse that says like it's for 
have curly hair. Mousse is really just there to define and hold whatever style you create. You can use mousse to straighten hair and make it stay with very little, you know, residue because mousse is very, very light. And yeah, mousse is really cool. It's a very versatile product that can be used a lot of different ways. Um, and I think it's a very underrated product and you can expect some mousse out of me. Again, I don't love baby hairs, I'm sorry. Especially when they're like really thick, but you go for it. This look is already so extra, you might as well just like amp it up to the next level with the thick ass baby hairs. Why not just go for the whole damn look? If you're gonna go here, you might as well just go to fucking Saturn, you know? Oh, hell to the yes, mother. This is what I wanna see in my life. She looks hot. I love the way she styled it too, with like the wet, vibe oh i like to push back i want to see her with makeup on or like just like glammed up like i feel like with these looks like you don't need to have glam but like it really helps solidify the whole moment i wish i had to see her with the whole look on oh i'm sad but i'm sure she looks stunning um and i love the wig i think it's just so fun why not do your hair lime green like why not you know i would it's so shaky fun i love that lime green wig easy breezy you killed it this next video is by slade by jordan um i've actually been watching his videos a lot lately shout out to you jordan we're gonna watch him and do a gray hair wig and he's gonna dip dye and i love watching dip dye so like, let's just do it i'm gonna narrate again whoa okay so he is dip dyeing this hair he uses using a door and purple shampoo he's using shimmer lights a cult favorite really Love me some shimmer lights, except they're really not good for your hair, but like, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And he's gonna dip these bundles in this hair and let's see what happens to them. How silver is this gonna be? He's basically just trying to overtone the hair. He's trying to cancel all that yellow out to the point where it's gray. I think you've been dipping a lot. Just an observation, you could probably just put blue. I don't know, I can't figure out what's going on but you could probably just put more blue pigment in the water, just enough to turn it gray and not enough to turn it blue. And that'll do the trick for you. Hell yes, that's the color we want. That's the color, get it out of the water. We did that. I didn't do anything, but he did that. He has the cap glued to her hair. He's cutting the edges. We are about to lay that wig on there. Let's just take a moment, okay? Enough of me talking. Let's just have a moment of just watching this happen. Uh... We're about to get her in place and she is looking so good. That color ended up beautiful. You guys know how I feel about gray hair color. I don't like it. I don't know what it is about it. Honestly, I used to love it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I remember in high school, I remember like gray being such a cool thing and being like, whoa, like I want gray hair. But then I think I was just like for too long of like, Okay, we're still doing gray hair. I don't know, it still looks kind of cool. Still kind of granny vibes, but also not. I don't know. You can love gray hair if you want to. Live your extra life, do whatever you want to do. I do think this is sort of cool in a way, but yeah. It's a pretty color. I keep contradicting myself, but it's okay. Who knows what the hell I want in life, you know? You cannot see where the hell the lace is. I love the way he cuts the lace with that razor. Cut those edges. Jordan, cut them, give it to us. But I do like the hairline parts because you can like see really like the talent. That's when you know somebody's good. And really this whole thing leads up to laying the wig down. Like if you can lay a wig, okay, you're good. You can do everything else, but you can't lay it down. Eh, yeah, well, hmm. somebody else can do it better than you. You know what I mean? I also like that he kind of forms the hairline freehand. He glues it down and then he like goes for it and goes in and kind of like forms it by looking at her face and like he cuts off certain areas. He leaves certain parts there. He forms it to the shape he wants it on the girl. I feel like people cut like kind of pluck their hairline and cut it before they put it on. Whereas he, I feel like doesn't. So something I find interesting, this is something I would never do on a real client, like a client with like her real hair. So like it's kind of shocking to see is like putting wax on the root before, you know, putting wax on the root. Like I'm like, <gasps> Oh my God. And I'm like, oh, it's a wig. It doesn't have like oils. Like that's normal. It's fine. I wonder how he's going to style it. Is he going to leave it all curly? Cause I'm kind of like here for it. He is laying down the hair very flat to her scalp because you know what? Nobody wants a bulky wig. Uh-uh. Number one telltale sign of a bad wig. If it's bulky, nobody likes a bulky wig. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he is giving her baby hairs. I noticed this guy likes baby hairs or his clients like them. I don't know. And she is starting to look Matched. Okay, and we're gonna leave it wavy, and I love when they do this, like leave it wavy and stuff. It's like, <laughs> what is this foam? I need to get some of that. It looks like an oil foam or something. Somebody let me know in the comments. I don't mind the gray. Okay, I, I it's working for me today. So I don't know. I I can't explain it, but um, it's working for me, and I love it. Uh, and she looks freaking fire, dude. She looks fire. Look at that hairline. <laughs> what? 
Look at the hairline. Yo, you can't see anything. Yo, that hairline is fierce, dude. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so that happened. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good for you. I love that. Thank you so much, Jordan, for sharing that with us. <laughs> what a great day it's been. Honestly, that was some slayage beyond belief. I don't like to use that word a lot because I think it's corny, but there is no other way of describing those wigs besides slayed. Now it's come to the end of the video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Rabondo OIC and X Mondo Hair, my hair care brand that has new products coming out in less than two weeks. They're gonna be really exciting and please get on that. It is going to be one of my biggest launches yet. So I am so stoked about that. And I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on these new products. They are stunning, they are incredible and they are perfect for the winter months. So get ready for it. Your hair literally needs this. Go grab yourself a lace front wig, go have fun with it and do your thing. They're a fun thing in the world and we should all just, you know, try it out. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>